Good day, Will England here with the Sprint Product Ambassadors, and today we're checking out the newest camera features on the LG V40 Think. It has, as you see on the right side, not one, but not two, but three different rear lenses. One for close-ups, one for medium distance shots, and one for super wide angle. Pretty fantastic. Right now we have this set to AI Cam, playing with it a little bit earlier, and it's recognized that there's a coffee cup in the picture, so it has automatically set the, right here, type of photo to beverage. So it will have the best highlights and features to take a picture of your latte in the morning, especially if your barista has drawn a special photo in that. To get out of a special photo mode, just touch the triangle button at the bottom and it returns it to normal. We have Google Lens, which we've discussed in the past. It simply takes a picture of whatever you're looking at and does Google search on it, which is handy. Portrait, which is very nice. It blurs the background, which our background definitely needs blurred. We'll touch Portrait, and it sets it to the middle distance camera. We back up, back up, back up, back up, and take a portrait of our coffee cup. We can adjust the amount of blur to no background blur and maximum background blur so that our coffee cup is well focused but the background is well blurred out just like you would get with a fancy high-end DSLR. We'll take a shot of that and we'll post this with the blog post later. To get out of portrait again just touch the triangle at the bottom of the screen. Triple shot is interesting. If you try triple shot when you hit the single shutter button, it will take pictures from all three cameras, create a brief video of those uh, pictures. We're going to pause this and go take a triple shot of the outside. All right, we're outside. It's winter. The light's kind of poor. So we'll step over here and use this as our center object, a brick. Fancy. And then we'll just simply touch the shutter button for a triple shot of our brick. You can hear the shutter firing three times and it is now rendering the video and saving it to your memory. To get out of that, we'll take a look at what we can do in portrait mode. That won't work. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll take a look at what we can do with the three different lenses. Here's the super telephoto, or the super wide angle, where you see we capture the brick and lots of side, regular. It zooms in a little closer on the brick and the wood heap we need to deal with. And then the deep focus goes clear past the brick, and you can see the wood heap in the backyard really fantastic options for the back three cameras. Additionally you have your tools to set up HDR, super bright for taking pictures in the dark, steady shot uses digital motion stabilization, uh, live photo, cheese shutter, tagging your locations, throwing a grid on, you can even put your signature on. Here we can choose what type down at the bottom of photo we want to take I always keep it to 4x3, that makes it easy to crop and print, although you can take wide shots if you're going to be displaying them on your big screen TV. There's a shot timer too. Mode is quite simply of auto, manual, manual video, cine video for that cinematic look, food photos, slow motion, panorama, flash jump cut, cine shot. You have adjusting the ability to adjust colors and put all kinds of filters directly in the camera. We're not going to flip the camera around, it's early in the morning and, well, you don't want to see me just yet. And we can turn the flash on and off and set it to auto right there. So that's the basic features of the new LG V40 triple camera. And we'll have this posted shortly along with our triple shot video. Hope you've enjoyed this. This is Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassadors. And no, I was not compensated for this shaky video. I just get to use the phone for free. Thank you.